So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our uh, the Samsa chart video of the week and today we're going to be covering Saturn in the first house of your the Samsa chart as in what happens when Saturn is in the first house of the D10 the Samsa chart of Vedic astrology which is one of the most important charts which pretty much shows the obligation to society which shows how the karmas are going to be performed okay and the reason why I'm starting out with Saturn because Saturn is the Atma Karka of the Dasamsha, meaning the soul significator. Just like Sun is the soul significator in the birth chart, right? Everybody says Sun is the soul. In Navamsha, Venus has become, becomes the soul. So in Dasamsha, Saturn becomes the soul because Saturn is karma, karam, your actions. You cannot burn your karma without the action. So we're starting off with Saturn in the first time. And one thing I'm going to request um you know very very strongly is that if you go onto my link on astrologycares.com go to contact me section and please sign up for the newsletter it's very important you'll see it there you'll read it there because i'm going to be announcing something major on uh probably july 12th or 13th once mercury goes direct trust me it's something for you guys it is something that you guys actually want me to do but Due to certain things, you know, uh, I would really appreciate if you just went there and did that. Okay. So anyway, um, if you do not know, if you have this particular Saturn in your ascendant, what your ascendant of the Samsha is, all your planetary details and all your charts uh, for that, check out the links here under the shop section and check out my full astrological report, on, on, including my books, consultations and link to my academy as well. So. Saturn in the first house of the Samsha. So this is actually a very important position for Saturn, believe it or not. Um, the number one thing we see with this is that you will have the most responsibility in your life when it comes to society when it comes to your work you are gonna be put on on your shoulder the heavy responsibility for that will you get a reward or not that we cannot just say by Saturn in the Lagna for that we have to see the birth chart the yogas the dasha because you will get it but I don't care if you're going through the most the best dasha in life the worst dasha in life Saturn will make you give your service to people you are gonna work long hours you are gonna have to feel tired you are gonna feel you know exhausted and in a way if you are aware of things besides these five senses in this world that we live in if you have a little bit of awareness of that then you will actually thank yourself for the stars for giving you this position because you the more burden the more responsibility you get on your shoulder the more the heaviest karmas are being paid off some of the heaviest karmas are being paid off and especially one thing you will notice with saturn and the samsha especially not even the birth chart the samsha a person has to grow up very early they may have to work starting the age of 13, 14. They may have to take on the responsibility of the household. They may have to leave the household. Like if you look at me as well, I started working from the age of uh, 14 at McDonald's. You know, and when I first my, got my first check, I couldn't believe that I actually earned my own money. Forget even like it was a cashier's job and cleaning and, and mopping and all that. It was the fact that, wow, there's something called me making money and not asking my parents for money. So it started very early because we had to do it. My parents weren't making that much money at all. I, I used to clean summer school uh, in summer school or in va uh, summer vacation. I used to clean the schools in high school with my friend, even my best friend, you know, joined me too for a couple of years. It was just fun. It was fun. It was fun thing. But hey, we worked. The other thing you will see, you will not get support of your co-workers. 
and you will not have the easiest time communicating with your coworkers. There can also be wrongful accusation on this person by coworkers. And one thing you will see is that as much as you want to use your brain, Saturn is going to make you use your hands even more and your body. Even if let's say you're some scientist, you're going to have to run around from here to there. You're going to have to be the one taking those machineries, taking care of those machineries to do your research. And specifically, you're going to have to be in service to the higher authority. You are going to have to be in service to the higher authority. And you will see with the Saturn in the Lagna, in the Samsha, if this person is doing business, they will have a partner. They cannot do business by themselves. And that partner will be the one that becomes that authority that they have to. Somehow they'll be doing the most work. Unless, of course, your partner themselves have Saturn in the Lagna, which is highly going to be the case. Highly, I, I highly doubt it. And specifically, there will be um, a break in a partnership. Break in whatever product business you do, one partnership will fail for sure. But you will see after 36 when Saturn matures, the servant gets elevated to the authority. That's one magic of Saturn. But only Saturn will do this if you do not ignore your responsibilities. Otherwise, Saturn will stretch it till 42. Never ignore your responsibility. When you know you've got this job and the manager and the boss has asked you to do this, this, and this, do not try to do two out of the five things. And be like, okay, maybe I'll just do it next week. Or maybe they won't notice it if I don't do this and this. Do it thoroughly. It is, it is a lesson. It is a university till the age of 36 for you. Doesn't matter if you graduated from Harvard. Or doesn't matter if you graduated from a city college. Or you don't have a degree at all. Till 36, you are in a university. You are to learn. You are to do that homework that Saturn is telling you to do. And one of the things you will see, this person will have a huge circle of professional network circles, huge circle of even um, friends in their life, but they will not be co-workers. They'll be people outside of your company. And one of the things is that at least three times this person will fail trying to gain something by traveling. Like if you have Saturn in the Lagna of the Dasamsha, try your best till 36 not to have a position where you have to communicate a lot or travel a lot. Because you may not make your managers and your bosses very happy with the result. And one of the things you will see is usually a person always tend to do administrative duties with Saturn. Now, even if you're a machinist, even if you're a mechanic somewhere, even if you're a custodian somewhere, you're still going to be doing administrative work. Now, can you say that this person is lazy, lethargic? They could be. That depends on how the sign is of Saturn and the type of aspects it received, but also how Saturn is in your D3 and D1 chart to really see... Because D3 chart, uh, Dresh Khan or Drikana, whatever you want to call it, uh, that shows a person's valor. Like, is this person out there wanting to perform their effort, put efforts into things, or not put effort into things? But here, Saturn alone can make a person a great and a very hard working individual. But again, like I said, this is a university till the age of 36. After 36, success really comes to your doorsteps if you have worked hard. Okay. So anyway, guys, this is my analysis of Saturn in the first house of your Dasamsa chart. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you don't miss these type of videos. If you want to know 
everything about astrology, your reports, consultation, check out the links here and please do go here and sign up for the newsletter. Please, please, please. Thank you. Bye-bye.